Here it is. The Hola. main man. Hola, come with us. Come with us. Very good. You okay? Thank you, thank you. Nice to see you. Are you too? You happy? I'm happy. You've been in the press conference? Um, yes. Yeah? You didn't ask any questions? So. Yes. You can ask me questions now? Um, yes. Where is Arsenal going to win the Premier League title this season? Sorry? Where is Arsenal going to win the Premier League title this season? Where? Yeah. At home in the last game, I think. <laughs> Against Everton. Should yeah. we sit down? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Supporting Bournemouth. What makes it special is all the fans are a family. Everyone knows each other. Coming to a match day, you know, you see so many familiar faces. Got that cherry! Supporting Bournemouth for me across my lifetime has been an absolute roller coaster. One minute we're flying, the next minute we're struggling. And it's a ride, it's a journey that never seems to end at the moment. The club off the field has been in and out of so many problems over so many years from a financial viewpoint. We all had to get behind the players, we had to get behind the manager and the club itself. From bucket collecting just to save the club, to docked points, transfer embargoes. I asked one day if I could help them out, he needed a 12 hour turnaround on some kits. So I was in my kitchen till four in the morning doing all their kits and all their shirts hanging around my kitchen. Thank you very much. I always thought we could perhaps become a second tier or a championship club, but that was the ceiling, that was the limit. Me and my granddad came to the games. I remember the year that we got promoted to the championship and he said to me, just enjoy it, because you might not see us here again. When Eddie Howe got the job, I thought, well, he's 31, he could still be a player. No experience, not the man for the job, what are they doing? We could never have foreseen what was going to happen. King Eddie, you know, he just couldn't begin to put into words what they'd done for this club. It was the way that he took control of the club in a time that we needed it the most. He will always be remembered for everything he achieved, bringing a team of players that were probably Football League footballers to then setting the Premier League stage alight. It's been a great journey. It's not ended. Bringing in Andoni is, was a massive risk at the time and one that's really paid off. I didn't know much about Andoni when we announced him, but I was excited with what I was hearing. There's a lot of European experts telling us you've got a great guy here. To be fair, when he first started, I wasn't sure. We had a bit of a blip early season. It was always going to take him time to bed in, for him to get his philosophy and his style across to the team. Someone that wanted to come in, play front foot football and win in the ball high up the pitch. And it's what we want to see. We still have this siege mentality where we've got to be front foot. We don't want to see our team defending. We want to see you know, the passion, the desire and he's really brought that to us. Is there a ceiling? I always ask myself that question. <laughs> Why should there be a ceiling? We proved it week in, week out, that doing things the right way, the Bournemouth way, we can achieve anything together. <laughs>